So I feel like I personally have been able to accomplish a lot in the last few years. I'm someone who used to be the most insecure about my vision and my, my legal blindness and used to just let that get me down and, and become a huge introvert growing up. But now I, I've managed to move away from home at the age of 18. I'm 20 years old. I live 3,000 miles away from home. I live on my own here in Los Angeles and, and I've managed to really accomplish a lot for someone who, who just deals constantly with legal blindness. I take a lot of pride in what I've been able to accomplish, just being able to accommodate myself. But what really knocks me down is when people try to take away my accommodations, when people try to be less accessible, especially when it's like completely reasonable not to do that. So what I'm referring to is a few incidents I have in a Chipotle. Chipotle, it's a popular restaurant, Mexican Grill. We all know Chipotle, some of us love it, some might not. I'm sort of in the boat of not liking it too much, for good reason. So almost two years ago, during my first summer out here in California, uh, I was living in Orange County, and I had never actually gone to a Chipotle before. So when I got to Chipotle, I use my phone as a piece of assistive technology, like I normally do at every other restaurant I go to. And most restaurants don't have an issue with me ever using my phone. And if they have a, some sort of small concern, they'll come over and talk to me and I'll just explain my situation and why I'm using my phone in this scenario. And they're usually more than likely okay with it and always have been. But Chipotle has been the one restaurant that just constantly has knocked me down every time I try to accommodate myself. So when I'm waiting in line at Chipotle, I like to use my phone to see the menu because I can't see the print from the distance. I can't even see the print when I'm up to the glass. It's it's something that I need to do in order to accommodate myself. I need to use my phone. The gentleman in front of me and the lady behind me and her son can all see the menu just fine from where they are. So it's just not fair when I can't see the menu and then when I try to accommodate myself, I can't. So basically what happens is every time I try to use my phone at a Chipotle restaurant, I get a manager or someone just coming over to me and telling me to put my phone away. No questions asked. And every time I try to reason with them and try to tell them my situation where I'm legally blind, I'm just trying to see three out of the four dimes, they just said too bad, figure it out. And I'm just like, really? What? What just happened? Now I did go recently as well, just to make sure that this is still the case uh, before I made this video. And the gentleman who worked at Chipotle, I'm pretty sure he was just an employee, not a manager, but he did offer to read me the menu when I get up there. The problem with that though, is I actually have a small hearing impairment, which when I'm in a place that has a lot of ambient sounds, I find it extremely hard to hear anyone up close and, and let my ears focus on that. And even if I didn't have the mild hearing impairment, I'd still want to be able to accommodate myself and, and it just sort of takes you down a few notches when you take pride in who you are and what you've accomplished and, and all the independence that you strive for but then all of a sudden you can't simply just take a picture of a menu and zoom into it to see and order as quickly as possible without holding anyone else up in line. Chipotle refusing to accommodate this I realized that it isn't just gonna affect people who are legally blind or visually impaired and need to use their phone. It would also affect those who are deaf or hearing impaired or mute and they can't really communicate. There's no, say there's no one on staff who can sign and the person who's hard of hearing or mute has a hard time communicating uh, what they want. They can easily just take a picture and I've seen people do it before. They take a picture of what they want and they'll just point to it on the menu from their phone. And because I know someone's gonna mention it in the comments, they're gonna ask, why didn't you just go on to their website? They have their menu there. If you have your phone, you can more than likely use your data to check the menu there. The problem with that though is they have a mobile site. So they have this website that's specifically made for mobile devices. When I try to go there, I can't pinch to zoom because it just disables that feature on all these mobile sites. So that's not just a problem with Chipotle. That's another problem within itself. And that's a video for another day. But again, I can't see the menu on the website when I can't pinch to zoom, like I'm trying to just simply do with a picture from my phone. So again, this just doesn't affect people who are blind, but those who are also hard of hearing and deaf. So today I finally got in contact with someone from Chipotle's HR and customer service, and they uh, were very apologetic, and, and they said, there's no reason I shouldn't have been able to use my phone to accommodate myself. They offered me like tons of free food and to make sure that this doesn't happen again. With the stuff that they offered, I declined to take the free food just because that's not what this whole thing is about. It's about other people who are in my sort of situation getting the accommodations that they properly need in order just to get some food. I emailed him back and asked for a clarification whether or not this is really a policy. And he did clarify that there is no such policy in place where people can't use their phone to take pictures of a menu or, or take pictures of anything except for when the customer is up at the glass, the glass to uh, get their food and then say what they want. That's where you can't take the pictures. And that's understandable. Whatever, I don't have an issue with that. Even though personally I can't see the texture of the food from where I'm standing, that makes it a little hard, but whatever, I can, I can get over that. But the fact that when I wasn't even up to the glass and I was like far back 
in line or even not even in line yet because I was waiting to check the menu, I still got a bunch of flack from the management and other employees for just trying to accommodate myself when I wasn't up to where you can't take pictures. So Chipotle's corporate office told me that they got in contact with my local Chipotle where I was having this issue uh, most recently. And they, they talked to the manager and managed to get this accommodation fine and, and next time I go, I should be able to get food without an issue. So this is just a message to Chipotle and any other restaurants that have a hard time letting people use their phones in order to take pictures of the menu and see and be able to point out what they want. If you have any reason to be suspicious of someone, follow up on that. But for the most part, if someone's just trying to accommodate themselves, let them do it. Don't try to take away someone's independence. Because personally, I find it very insulting to take away someone's independence when they have a disability and they're just trying to be as independent as possible. And, and that's what I strive for. And so. That's just my my side of the story and, and I hope to see change. So that about wraps it up for this video. If you guys have any sort of questions, concerns, leave them down in the comments down below. If you guys have had a similar experience along those lines that you think you can kind of relate, let me know. I, I would love to hear about it if you're if you're open to that. Honestly, maybe it's for the best that Chipotle refused to take my orders because otherwise I probably would have gotten sick. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next week. Bye.